Hello! Stories at this time of the year cannot be more sprawling than they are coming thick and fast. A good reflection of this is how last week had been across the industry. We are exploring the stretch and depth of how NNBC engaged the issues and events, a bit of tracking of the enduring stories. You might want to discern how this package impacts the big picture of the 12 business focus areas and vice versa. Welcome to the authentic perspective about the oil and gas industry across Nigerian media. And by the way, welcome to November. I'm Akinya Agbujule. This is Oil & Gas Forum. NMPC is done very well around the country. I, I think we seem to forget, you know, the kind of shortages we have with petroleum products. You have them very often now. You don't have them. Look at the funding that we have attracted for, you know, AKK. You know, look at the almost investment decision that has been taken around the LNGs. Say them get fuel jabrata for ground sabotoir sabotoir all of una where they tiff tiff with fuel and petroleum station where they hot smuggle and divert our fuel go neighboring country plus people where they build small small tank and sell fuel past our government price of 145 naira per liter stop them oh because why now nah, big offense now now nah, jail straight away and npc say our government no increase fuel price now nah, still 145 naira per liter so therefore no buy black market no do panic buying and no fuel day we go go round nigerians if you see any petrol station where they sell fuel pass our government price of 145 naira per liter kia kia report to the nearest security agency when near you or the department of petroleum resources na undu ohamado group general manager group public affairs division nmpc sign this message The Russian Federation and the United Arab Emirates have expressed their readiness to expand their scope of partnership with the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, in the upstream, midstream, downstream and services sectors to further boost their various economies. Speaking during a working visit to the Group Managing Director of the NMPC, Dr. Meikenti Baru, the Russian Federation Ambassador to Nigeria, His Excellency Alexei Shabashin, said the proposed synergy was for the betterment of the indigenous people of Russia and Nigeria. His Excellency Shabashin said the visit was to consolidate the collaboration and partnership with NNPC in ensuring the growth and development of the Nigerian oil and gas industry for collective interests. I'm sure that our uh, relations in that particular field will develop to the benefit of our countries uh, and for the overall uh, improvement and development of our trade and economic relations. The Russian Federation ambassador to Nigeria stated that the two countries have had a long history and would continue to expand their business interest as part of efforts to improve the standard of living of citizens. Speaking in a similar vein during its got call on Dr. Baru, the ambassador of the United Arab Emirates, UAE, His Excellency Obaid Mohammed Ay Tafag, said his country would continue to partner with the NMPC in the development of the downstream and services sectors of the petroleum industry. We have a very good, healthy current relationship with our friends in uh, NMPC, and we hope that uh, our continuous meeting and our, our continuous talks will bring prosperity, will bring win-win initiatives for both of our uh, countries. It will be recalled that the Russian Federation, as an oil-producing nation, joined other countries that make up the organization of the petroleum exporting countries OPEC in the landmark declaration of cooperation to stabilize global supply of oil to the international market. The Nigerian National Petroleum Cooperation, NMPC, has denied the existence of an alleged $3.5 billion subsidy slash fund for the purpose of underhand payments of differentials in the pump price of petrol by the corporation. 
In a presentation to the Senator Ahmed Lawal led Senate Ad Hoc Committee, saddled with the task of investigating the existence of the said fund, Dr. Mekanti Baru, Group Managing Director of the NMPC, explained that the assertion was totally different from the reality on ground. The GMD explained that what is an operation is a $1.05 billion fuel support fund created by the NMPC in response to an earlier directive by the National Assembly at the peak of the fuel crisis, instructing the NMPC to do everything possible to squelch the supply hiccups. The NMPC does not operate any $3.5 billion petroleum subsidy funds, as alleged. Thus, the NNPC is utilizing $1.05 billion from the LNG and LNG dividends fund to finance the additional PMS requirements in augmenting the DSDP supply. The first thing I would like to talk about is the economics. It's, it's basic economics. Uh, it's quite a straightforward, simple economics that is personal on the street understands, which is that you've asked, N you've asked NMPC to sell a product, or anybody that wants can bring a petroleum product, but he can sell it at 145 naira per litre at the pump. What happened when the oil price went up? You couldn't land the product even at 145. And what that meant is that there's an element of cost. And what happened in economics is that the private sector will withdraw immediately and created a gap, and you needed somebody to fill that gap, and that was what that mandate was given to us, to ensure we go out there and bring in the products and make sure you fill the gap. Dr. Barrow stated that propelled by this noble national requirement, the corporation initiated the move to raise a revolving fund of $1.05 billion, separated from the NMPC dividends from the Nigerian Liquefied Natural Gas Limited. He also clarified that NMPC did not independently spend a dime of the fund, which he said was to ensure stability in the petroleum product supply in the country by providing enough volumes to augment the petrol yield from the direct sale direct purchase DSDP crude for product exchange arrangement. The Senate Ad Hoc Committee Chairman, Senator Lowell, pledged the readiness of his committee to pursue the assignment to a logical conclusion. The Senate is also interested in knowing the processes and procedures followed to warrant such expenditures. Let me set the stage by stating very clearly that between the executive and the legislature is cooperation, partnership, consultation and indeed working to ensure that Nigerians have a better life. What you said um, is clear. It is not different from what your head of media um, who is here presently said to defend the 3.5 billion USD, what we called subsidy, it denied that. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has dispelled rumors of an impending review of pump prices of petroleum products, especially premium motor spirit, PMS, otherwise called Petro. A statement by the NNPC Group General Manager, Group Public Affairs, Ndu Uhamadu, affirmed that contrary to the misinformation trading in social media, the federal government has no plan to review prices of white products either downwards or upwards. Uhamadu stated that despite the fact that NNPC since October 2017 had been the sole importer of PMS into the country as the oil marketing companies could not import due to the open market price being much higher than the 145 naira per liter official selling price. Yet, government has no plan to review the market prices of products either upwards or downwards now.
The statement cautioned rumor mongers to be wary of the impact their ignoble act could cause on prices of petroleum products, especially petrol as the festive period draws near. Adding that if not checked, the insinuation of unsubstantiated price review can lead to artificial scarcity, holding of products by consumers which in turn may result in unwarranted queues and suffering of Nigerians at fuel stations. The NNPC spokesman disclosed that members of the public should report any station which sells PMS above the 145 Naira recommended price to the offices of the Department of Petroleum Resources, DPR, nationwide, saying the department is authorized to monitor and regulate the industry's activities. Ohamadu said the recent statement of the NNPC GMD, Dr. Mekan Tibaru, that the corporation has 37 days stock of PMS subsists, stressing that the NNPC Hemsman has mapped out strategies to ensure that Nigerians have a hitch free festive period. The Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Dr. May Kente Baru has charged members of the Nigerian Association of Petroleum Explorationists, NAPI, to deploy their wealth of knowledge and experience to find more crude oil. Dr. Barrow gave this charge when the leadership of NAPI paid him a cut of visit at the NMPC Towers, Abuja. The GMD, who described the group as the foundation of the oil industry on account of the critical role of its members in the oil and gas value chain, urged members to go beyond convention and search deeper and wider to ensure the sustainability of the barrel by finding more, producing more, and doubling production reserve ratios on a yearly basis. Uh, you should look beyond the convention. You go deep, look deeper, and tell us where this balance of the 40 billion barrels are going to come from. He informed that NMPC was involved in extensive exploration work in the inland basins with a view to finding more oil to grow the nation's crude oil reserves. Speaking on the purpose of their visit, President of NAPI, Dr. Andrew Eyayurese, informed the GMD of the group's upcoming conference scheduled to hold from November 19th to 23rd in Lagos. Our conference is coming up the week of uh, November the 19th to 23rd at the Co Hotel. Uh, I've just handed over to you also a special invitation later uh, to come and give a keynote speech at the management session and thereafter there will be some discussions. He expressed gratitude to the GMD for the corporation's support over the years, especially in areas of sponsorship of events and staff participation in conferences and seminars. As part of measures to sustain the robust supply of petroleum products across the country, and especially going into the Yuletide and beyond, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NMPC, has signed a six-month direct sale direct purchase DSDP agreement with the British Petroleum's BP trading arm, BP All International Limited, for the supply of premium motor spirit, also known as Petro. This latest agreement will represent 20% of NMPC's total PMS supply, under the DSDP arrangement, which basically allows the corporation to exchange crude oil with international oil traders for imported petroleum products over a period of time. Speaking shortly after a brief signing ceremony at the NMPC Towers, the group managing director of the corporation, Dr. Mekente Barrow, said, as a nation's product supplier of last resort, NMPC was committed to product availability by inviting new and old players to play in the Nigerian oil sector. He said over the years, BP had demonstrated the capacity and robustness to augment the forecasted shortfall by NMPC, especially as the winter period approaches and as the nation's elections get underway early into the new year. Uh, as a reliable supplier, we think uh, B B British Petroleum is a brand that can see us through. We trust them. We, uh, we have good relationships and we think their commitment to local content development is also worth encouraging. Responding, Mr. John Goodrich, the head of marketing and origination of BP's oil trading business said it was a great honor for his company to be trusted by the NMPC as one of its strategic suppliers. 
We're delighted to have the opportunity to work more closely with NMPC um, going forward and hopefully we'll grow to greater things. Introduced in 2016, the DSDP arrangement is a model carried out through direct sales of crude oil to refiners or consultants who in turn supply NMPC with equivalent worth of products. Since its inception, the DSDP model has not only saved NMPC millions of dollars that would have been paid through demurrage, it has also proven to be a major component of the corporation's petroleum products supply portfolio, which ensures stability in products supply nationwide. The NNPC corporate headquarters branch of the Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association of Nigeria, Pengerson, has received econiums for demonstrating a great deal of responsibility and exemplary leadership worthy of emulation across the oil and gas industry. Group Managing Director of the NNPC, Dr. Maykenti Barrow, gave the commendation at the 5th Triennial Delegates Conference 2018 of the corporation's corporate headquarters branch of Pengerson. Let me therefore register my sincere appreciation to the present executive members of the corporate headquarters branch of Pengerson, led by the indefatigable comrade Matthew Duru. Let me express our appeal to the NMC management under the DMB for their immense contribution towards the success of our 40th anniversary celebration and digital stock event centers on the 18th of October 2018. Responding on behalf of the union, Comrade Matthew Duro commended the NMPC GMD for providing exemplary leadership not only in the corporation but for setting the standard in the larger oil and gas industry. Under the award, NMPC is sustaining products availability nationwide through a combination of DSDP, price modulation, and provision of foreign exchange to pay qualified third-party oil marketing companies importers. High point of the event was the presentation of Certificate of Performance and Award of Excellence to the GMD. A former Group Managing Director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Chief Chamberlain Oibo has praised the current GMD of NNPC, Dr. Mekanti Baru, for the efficient management of the corporation by delivering on all its core mandates to all the stakeholders of the state oil firm. Chief Oibo made this call in an interview with the Oil and Gas Forum crew in Lagos. The veteran oil expert said through the transformational leadership style of Dr. Baru, the corporation has succeeded in sustaining and stabilizing steady supply and distribution of petroleum products across the country. I think Dr. Baru has been prepared without any person telling him that we are preparing you for to be a GMT. I have to praise him. He uh, is handling it very well with confidence and Giving the NPC the standing that it deserves in this uh, country. Chief Oibo described the Dr. Barry led management as focused and pragmatic, noting that so far they have met the expectations of the oil and gas industry. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, has announced the re-entry of its subsidiary, NIDA's Shipping Services, into the international shipment of crude oil and petroleum products seven years after falling out of reckoning in the global oil freighting trade. NIDA's re-entry is in tandem with the ongoing re-engineering of some NMPC subsidiaries to ensure multiple income streams and value addition to the corporation, in line with the aspiration of the corporation's group managing director, Dr. Mekenti Baru, a release by NMPC Group General Manager, Group Public Affairs Division, Ndu Uhamadu, has stated. The corporation explained that, as a first step to regain its market position, NIDAS has established a robust chartering and operation desk in its UK office to help the company secure sea-going vessels from spot market to herald its market re-entry and foster strong competitive edge. Already, the company's presence is generating some positive traction in the international freight space 
as Global Tanker Fixtures report last week acknowledged the chartering of LRI tanker MV Atlantica Bridge by NIDAS to load jet fuel from El Dekela Port, Egypt, for delivery to Nigeria for Duke Oil. Hello, we're glad to have you join us on the feedback segment of the program. My name is Julia Auta. The Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, is the state oil corporation that is saddled with the responsibility of ensuring energy efficiency for the country. This week, our roving camera on the streets sought to find out from the public what they expect from the NNPC as 2018 draws gradually to an end. What I expect from the NNPC as at this time of the year is to have a stocking pile of the products because what we experienced last time I don't think it would be very good for Nigerians. I expect them to deliver to Nigerians. They make sure there is available of fuel, PMS, to make sure things flow well. We don't want to get uh, issues about uh, long queue and uh, people being, you know, rushing over things, you know. Let them make things available, products available, so that Nigerians will be comfortable. But I'm just hoping. NNPC could put in place modalities that will make sure that there will be enough fuel supply that will suffice for the population to move around. At the beginning of every year, everybody expects that um, the government might per adventure make some readjustments in the pump price of petroleum products. So I believe that um, and I feel that the government and the NNPC and other relevant regulatory agencies should come up with structures and policies to deal with this um, ugly trend. The fear of the unknown should be properly addressed. I think uh, first and foremost, there should be more supply. Let them continue as how as they do it now. So definitely me, I don't want to hear anything foil casting. Um, well, what I expect is they should um, enable that the supply of foil so that um, we enjoy the environment. That's what I expect. And I expect them to improve on their workers' welfare so as to carry out their work diligently. So if they can help us to enforce that price, bring out their task force to every filling station to enforce that price, it will help us a lot to normalize the government price so that people can travel without stress. The group managing director of the NNPC, Dr. Mekan Tibaro, and the entire corporation will continue to ensure seamless efficient supply and distribution of petroleum products nationwide. And that's about the size time will allow us on this segment. Please stay tuned for the rest of the program. Hello, my name is Faith Ayuba, and I'm delighted to have you join us once again on this segment. Did you know that a field containing natural gas but no oil is called a gas field? Did you know that the structure and equipment used in drilling an oil and gas well including the derrick, engine, engine house, and other equipment are called a rig. The tower-like structure that houses most of the drilling control is called a derrick. Did you know that the assembly of fittings and valves on the top of a casing which controls the production rate of oil is called a Christmas tree? Did you also know that a unit of volume measurement used for petroleum and its product is called a barrel? Now you know. Please stay tuned for the rest of the program. Hello and welcome to Global Crude Oil Outlook. Oil fell Friday touching its lowest level since June due to rising concerns over weaker global demand and increased supply from the world's major oil producers. Brent crude futures fell $1.57 per barrel to $73.47, while U.S. West Texas Intermediate WTI futures were down $1.40 per barrel at $63.91. Both benchmarks posted their biggest monthly percentage decline since July 2016 in October, with Brent down 8.8% for the month and U.S. crude losing nearly 11%. With Russia pumping oil at a post-Soviet high, U.S. crude output at more than 11 million barrels per day, concerns about renewed U.S. sanctions on Iran have faded in recent days. Brent and U.S. futures have dropped on growing concern 
over a possible slowdown in global growth as the U.S.-China trade dispute remains unresolved and is starting to hit emerging market economies in particular. That will offset the decline in Iranian exports that could tighten supply. China's imports from Iran fell by 34% in September from the year-ago period, official Chinese customs data showed. U.S. sanctions on Iran's energy exports come into force on November 4, and it is still unclear how much the country's roughly 3.8 million barrels per day production will be affected. The U.S. Energy Information Administration on Wednesday reported a sixth straight week of build in U.S. crude inventories. And that's it on this segment of the program. My name is Solomon Yopayev. He has done very, very well. And uh, I travel a lot. And I, there's no part of this country I don't go as because of, of this my job. And uh, there's no way we cannot find job um, for him. And he has done very, very well. I wish he will remain there forever. That's been all on Gas Forum for this week. Thanks for joining us. You got all the information you need going into the new week. Have yourself a splendid one on behalf of NNPC. The week starts now. Bye.